My wife and I were talking to our adult kids recently about how much it cost for us to live when we got married almost 30 years ago. The biggest difference was what we now pay for communications. You know, things like cell phones and things like that. They didn't even have cell phones or the internet, and now those things are considered necessities. Communications are a big expense category, and if you don't watch it, those things can get away from you pretty quickly. So here's a few tips to help you save a few bucks and stay connected. First of all, cut your landline at home. You know, I ditched my home phone several years ago and bought an UMA. It gives me unlimited local and long distance calling through my internet connection for less than $4 a month. I also got to keep my home phone number. That saved me over $25 per month. Next, cut the data plan on your cell phone. You know, there's free Wi-Fi almost everywhere these days, at school, at work, even at the ball or the sports arena. I survived many years without internet access on my phone, and you can too. So try it. Turn off the cell data on your phone for a few days and use only Wi-Fi. It's not as big an inconvenience as you might think. And then if you turn off the data, you can save $30 to $40 a month in most cases. Now, that's a big sacrifice, but it's a big savings as well. Next, combine your services. You often get a big discount if you bundle services with one company. You can get a package deal for your high-speed internet, your cell phone, even TV, and uh, that'll save you a ton of money. You can shop around as well. One of the best ways to reduce the rates on any service that you currently have is to call them up and tell them that you're leaving for a better deal somewhere else. They almost always cave in very quickly and match the price of their competitor to keep you as a customer. Try it. I think you'll be shocked how easy it is to save some money in one phone call. Now I could go on, but I think you get the idea. Technology has certainly improved our lives, but at a cost. And communication expenses are a big budget buster for most people. And a little planning, and maybe even a little inconvenience, can help you rein in those costs and still keep you connected.